All right, we are back on solo leveling Arise, and I messed up gigantically. Honestly, this is like one of the very, very few times I've messed up this bad on my channel before. But anyways, when it comes to melee, she is available, and if we take a look over on the gotcha side... Yeah, I have 658 essence, which means that yes, I did summon for Mayland, even though I said that I did not really plan on summoning for her, but I, I messed up. So I was recording for like the past 10, like 15 minutes, almost 20 minutes, only to realize that my video was not recording, which essentially means that you guys are not going to get to see my summons. Um, And yeah, and the crazy part is that like out of this entire time playing the game, okay? I have not lost a pity once yet. I don't think I lost a pity at all yet this far. Um, and so we lost our pity on Malin, which means that I had to go like almost two pities to get her. So we got Malin. We got the one copy. I got up to level 60 and everything. We are going to showcase her in this video. But because of my big, big mess up, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a battle pass giveaway. So I am going to do a battle pass giveaway with the girl Lee Jo Hee um, in a wonderful B outfit. So if you guys do want to participate in the giveaway, all you got to do is make sure you are subbed, leave a like on this video, and in the comments, let me know your favorite thing about Soul Loving Rise, uh, if you summon for Malin or not, or did you skip, and yeah, I will choose a winner in about like 5 days, like a week's time, so make sure you are subbed, leave a like, and in the comment section, feel free to leave anything uh, regarding Soul Loving Rise, but yeah, anyways, when it comes to Malin, uh, we're going to showcase here, I do have red A0, and I do have her weapon, obviously, because I went... I did like a crap ton of assignments that you guys do not unfortunately get to see, but yeah, she's not a bad unit. Again, I think if you are free to play, if you do have Alicia, especially if you have Alicia A1, then having Malin alongside Alicia, the two of them together are just going to be stupid, stupid OP and broken, especially against Cerberus fight. Uh, so that is what we're going to do today. So we're going to go over her skills real quick, and then we will hop into the Cerberus fight. And let's see if we can attempt to do tier 9, because I'm free to play, and I've been doing tier 8 this entire time. So we will see if tier 9 is possible today, whether or not, all right? But uh, let's get into it and talk about her kit. All right, so when it comes to the girl Malin, obviously she is going to be a water unit. Uh, technically, she is classified as a healer, but with how the role she is playing on a team comp, she's really more of a support than heals, but kind of playing the same role as Min, just being a complete more support unit rather than healer, but she does offer a tad bit of healing alongside her kit, which really is not too bad and no complaints on my end. So water element uh, scaling off of max HP, which is, again, really, really helpful. Um, and then the basic skill one over here is... When the final land hits, inflates the airborne effect, and then when the skill hits, instantly restores HP to all team members equal to 5% of Malin Fitcher's HP, which again, that's going to be the small bit of healing the unit does have alongside her kit, which is not too bad. So if you are in like a really, really clutch situation and you're like very close to dying, then I guess a little bit of heals can go a long way because uh, I know that I've been in many, many instances to where that has been beyond helpful to say the least, okay? And then when it comes to the other basic skill here of up effect, then she is applying the what is it uh when the skill hits apply the airborne effect and then when a user uses the skill it grants the so cute effect to all team members and then when the skill hits also removes the target shield which is going to be beyond broken uh and the so cute effect is increasing the user's core attack damage by eight percent so aka alicia yeah the damage is going to be top tier so honestly i almost think that we should be able to beat tier nine today I'll be almost surprised if we don't, but then again, I don't know, Cerberus is like beyond broken, so we'll, we'll have to see if we can today. Uh, but when it comes to the support skill over here, it is applying the airborne effect, shield effect as well of removal. Uh, and then when the user uses the skill, it instantly restores HP of 8% of max HP. And then also applying the very unpumped up effect, which is increasing user attack by 16%, and then also applying a decrease damage taken by 16%. So a little bit of offense and defense all in the support skill, which I think is going to be great. Uh, the QTE skill, it is applying the airborne effects, which is pretty standard. And then the ultimate here, it is applying the pumped up effects, which increase user attack by 8%, increase defense by 8%, and then also critical hit rate by 8%, and then user core attack by 8%, and then a damage reduction by 8%. So all eights, which is super duper lucky. But yeah, I think the unit is going to be great. Again, for free to play, if you don't have Alicia, then maybe this is a unit you can skip, but I feel like a lot of people did summon for Alicia just because Alicia is technically, I believe, like one of the highest DPS, and especially against Cerberus, the two of them are just going to be stupid OP together. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and take double support and Alicia against Cerberus and kind of see how that goes, because I feel like it is going to be a little bit better than having, you know, a break unit. So I want to see if double DPS support can actually allow Alicia to kind of just out DPS 
uh the 70 bars of health that Cerberus has which she might be able to I actually feel pretty confident um and then when it comes to our artifacts over here I am running the destroyer set and then the outstanding connection just for that you know complete offense support skill and then Alicia we are rocking the toughness and the champion on the field set and uh same thing was Min same thing that Maylin has right but anyways let's get into the showcase and yeah, be sure to leave a like sub all that stuff and be sure to enter the gateway right I would love for you guys to win a battle pass for free so let's go over to, to the Cerberus fight yeah, if you have Maitland, let me know your thoughts on her thus far. Do you think she's good? Do you think she's skip worthy? I honestly do think this unit is going to be good, but only if you have Alicia. If you don't, then I really do think that this is a unit you can skip. Um, and bear in mind that I do not have Tuskit, okay? So I didn't get him um, for my thing yet. Oh, so let me change the same. So I'm just rocking the standard common three. Um, I believe my, what is it? Broca is at... What is it? He's at Elite. So I just got him up to Elite, which is not too bad. So that is where I currently have him. But um, everyone else is still, I believe, common. So we're going to take this team 169, by the way, versus 215. So we are underpowered pretty, pretty big. But again, we are taking double DPS support and uh, allowing Alicia to kind of just play that main DPS role. Um, I know my CC is really bad. I've been, I haven't been playing this game as much. I've been slacking, but let's see if we can beat it. All right, let's see. Level 58, tier 9, uh, Cerberus. I almost want to think it is possible, but I think I will have to play pretty darn good here. It might take us like one or two tries. If I beat him my first try, I will genuinely be shocked. Uh, but let's see. So we're going to activate our shadows here. Go ahead and... Okay, that's... <laughs> see, this is what happens when you don't play for like a few like a few weeks. Uh, not like that, really. I haven't been playing for like not a few weeks, but I've been logging in here and there. Just kind of doing my dailies and all that stuff. But uh, I will hopefully stream today or tomorrow. I need a room at the streams, man. It is so fun hanging out with you guys. Okay, let's dodge this. We're going to apply the Q, the E ability. So we have the buffs here. Swap out for Alicia. Uh, we do our Q and then the E ability. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the damage is good. Oh, the damage is real good. And then, hold on. Because I have the set, does Min have his ultimate? He does. Oh, my gosh. Wait, this low key might be the way here. It might be the way 100%. Okay, let's dodge this. Bring back Melee now. Does she have her ult? She does. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Let's fire ultimate here. Wait, the damage from Alicia is going to be insane. Is it not? Wait, we swap out for Alicia. We apply the Q ability. And then dodge. And then E. Wait, when then we ult? Ooh, we took that. Wait, 56 bars of health less? Wait, we're actually tearing through this super duper fast. Uh, freeze. And then... Oh yeah, oh yeah, wait, 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 this damage from Alicia is stupid. Double DPS might be the way, I mean, not double DPS, but double support might be the way to go, actually. Uh, okay, let me apply that, dodge, and then we'll swap out for the boy Min. Ooh, I like this team a lot. Okay, if you are struggling and you have all three of these units, I almost want to say don't even bother taking Jiwoo. I mean, she's still a great unit, don't get me wrong, but... Having Alicia A1 especially with his double DPS support is kind of OP. Uh, okay, so obviously these two units are not doing damage like that. They're not, they're not damage dealers. But Alicia, once she comes in and everything, we're going to have no problem tearing through this guy. Bring back Alicia out. Let's we'll find the Q ability. And then dodge again. And then we have our ult. Ooh. 41 bars of health less. How much damage are we doing from the ultimate? And plus the core attack? Wait, 203,000? Oh my gosh. Wait, this is stupid. Oh my gosh. Wait, is Malin a must summon? Malin might actually be a must summon. Wait, could you imagine if I even had a uh, Tusk as well? Nah, I would instantly... Oh, I might be able to do tier 10 actually. Wait, dodge. Crap. Oh my gosh. I almost got hit by that. I might be able to do tier 10. We'll try it afterwards. I don't think I can just because I don't think we're we're up there in terms of DPS. Uh, but I do want to attempt it and see if, we, if we're able to. Let's swap the ultimate once again. And then we'll go ahead and swap out. Bring Malin. Did she have ult as well? In like two seconds. Okay, great. And we have our army, which is fantastic. Okay, so we ult here. And then we'll bring back Alicia. And then, is this wraps? Alright, it's not going to be wraps yet, but uh, the damage should be really good here. Let's do E. Uh, no freeze, unfortunately. Dodge here. We ult. Ooh, we barely got out of that. Okay, damage wise, how much are we doing here? 20 bars of health left, 18, 17, oh, we're, I mean, we're just tearing through here at this, oh my god, no, no way, I got hit by that, wow, are you serious, that's, okay, we had this fight, okay, 
We had this fight, but let's try it again. Jeez, man. All right, so we're going to do tier 9 Cerberus. Let's see if we can. Uh, I messed up my dodge like an idiot the first time around. So I wonder if we can beat it here. Um, only Alicia is going to be our main DPS. So I'm kind of scared and worried. Because we don't have any breaks. No sub DPS. No Jiwoo, which in my opinion is pretty crucial uh, in this fight. Okay, so we got the freeze off, which is actually massive for us. Look at the damage. Oh my god. What is that damage from Alicia right now? Are you kidding me? Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's proc this off and then let's do four dodge and then proc off ult. That freeze damage is so good from Alicia, man. I'm telling you, she she's beyond broken. All right, we have melee and ult, so we're gonna proc that off. And then the boss from Alicia is gonna be stupid. So uh, how much damage is it gonna do? I'm actually scared to see the damage here. Uh, can we get her, if we get another freeze? Yeah, we don't, that's fine. Um, 57 bars left, and we are proccing up the ultimate. This is a guaranteed freeze. How much damage does it do? Oh my- Dude, are you kidding me? What is that damage? Wait, genuinely though, what, like, like, what is that damage? That is stupid. Are you kidding me? Wow, 41 bars left, and we have 2 minutes left. Okay, we- we're actually low-key cooking. Wait, dodge these, pop out for Malin. Uh, and then... Dodge! I got hit. Damn. Ah, that is not good. That is not good. That's not good. Okay, if I can get a freeze here, that'd be great. Can we get a freeze? No freeze. That's not great for me. Swap out. 33 bars left. Uh, we have ultimate with min uh, again. So we're gonna go ahead and pluck this off. So heavenly blessing has been applied, and then I need to tag out and dodge here. Dodge. Oh, wait, wait. Don't get hit. Don't get Don't get hit. Oh my god. <laughs> I got so scared. I got so scared. Okay, so Maylin, I believe this is now her second ultimate, right? Um, and I think Alicia is going to have ult. So let's go ahead and do that. Tag out for Alicia. And then... Oh, wait. No, this is not great. Oh my god. I need to get out. I need to get out. Get out. Barely. We barely got out. Uh, no freeze here. That's fine. 28 bars. We are ulting. Is this the second or third ultimate? I, I don't even remember here. Dude, look at the damage from Alicia. It is crazy, is it not? Okay, 20 bars left. I think, honestly, I think we had this in the bag. I think we do. Swap out for Malin. Uh, let's do dodge here, and then Q, and then E. We have an army, and then swap out. Ooh, can we get a freeze here? Ah, uh, no freeze. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Uh, okay, so 15 bars of health left. We have ult with Min again, so I'm going to proc this off. Great, and then I think Malin has ult as well, so uh, this should be GG's at this point, right? It should, it should, it should. So dodge, we ult, and then do. Is this like the fourth ultimate we popped off in one like three minute run? Is that would be crazy actually? Uh, do we have a freeze. We do. We have ultimate. Wait, nine bars. I think we got it. I think we got it here, unless. We do, and is that GG's? Oh no, wait, don't throw, don't throw. I always throw. We got it. Oh my gosh, 22.9 seconds left. We actually managed to beat it. How many times will we proc off ultimate? I'm gonna have to check back the footage, but this is our first time beating it. And we didn't get a single legendary piece. That's actually crazy. Well, we got a lot. Ooh, any good sets, please. Additional attack. Uh, oh my god, that's a great piece. Wow, what is that luck? It, another one? Wow, crit rate and attack. Please be crit damage, crit rate. Damn, imagine that would have been the icing on top. But um, honestly, well, oh, that's not a bad piece either. Ooh, one hit kill. This is actually not bad. I'll take that. That is insane. Wait, what was our power level against this fight? We were like 169, I think, versus 215. That is ridiculous, actually. I misplayed it just a little bit, but we were fine in the end. 215 and we are at what power level we are at one not 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 178 what are we at 169 and this is without me having tusk by the way that is ridiculous so let me go ahead and show you off my sets one more time um again i am rocking destroyer and outstanding connection for both mainland and the boy min over here so that way we're getting our ultimate out and attack increase just a tad bit and then obviously the girl alicia is rocking a uh toughness and champion on the field set so i can actually swap out this piece here that's actually insane we got two two glove pieces at level 50 so i will take that but that is crazy i i cannot believe we actually managed to beat that just now that is that is honestly ridiculous
holy crap but anyways i will end it there again i am giving it away a free battle pass so make sure you go leave a like on this video make sure you're subbed especially and leave a comment because obviously if you don't leave a comment i can't choose a winner right so make sure you are tuned to the channel and i will announce a winner in like five days a week's time and you get all these amazing goodies and plus the lee he outfit so why not right but i'll end it there take care leave a like especially and i will see y'all later hopefully i'm streaming today or tomorrow all right end it there take care peace